Hey guys, how's it going? Rubik's Master here, and today I'm going to be doing the level 20 base for low levels. And by low levels, I mean extremely low levels. Probably level 10 to 15, maybe even under 20 if you haven't been able to figure this base out. So I'm going to be doing this a little bit differently. I'm going to be kind of breaking down the basics of these attacks while I'm scouting the base. And so it, it'll be kind of like back to the basics of attacking in general because chances are if you're at the level if you're at the in between level 10 to 20 range this is probably your first event and you're probably kind of new so uh, because of the because of being able to control your units really precisely compared to other games um, you you know there's just a little in there's just a few intricacies if I could talk okay but I'm gonna be using a 500 capacity platoon, 2 rhinos, 6 PKs. If you have PK IFVs, use those instead. You'll only be able to take 4 uh, PK IFVs versus 6 regular PKs, but your overall damage and health, your durability, is going to increase. So looking at this base, there's a few things we need to consider. Uh, first off, looking at the spawn points, you have 4 of them available, even though one's way down here in the corner that I kind of have a hard time getting to um, but I like coming up here first to me it just kind of makes sense it lets you tackle the base in the L shape that it kind of presents itself in we're not even gonna worry about this Abram over here so don't even get your panties in a bunch there you're not even gonna have to deal with it what we are gonna have to deal with are two hairy well three kind of hairy situations one is gonna be all these defending units coming at us, we need to make sure our tanks are in front and we may even need to guide our tanks a little bit to the left and right to make sure they attract the attention of the incoming defending forces. Uh, the second hairy spot is gonna be this howitzer over here, which you'll see when I get there. The base idea for defeating a howitzer is either distract its fire with a tank and destroy it with your, DP with your offset DPS or rush inside of its minimum range and take out the other torts around it first, which is what we're going to do. The third area is going to be these these torts with the transformer. You want to take out the transformer as soon as possible. It decreases the overall damage you take. So down here, when we come out these two torts, we're actually going to ignore the torts first and destroy the transformer. But you'll see that in action. So we're going to deploy. We're going to attack. I'm not going to use air support. I don't know, I'm at level, I don't even remember when I got Reapers, but I'm just going to try and pretend that, you know, we don't have them. So, push these guys forward, we're gonna miss out on that a little bit. We want to destroy that PK as soon as possible because it started damaging our DPS, and that's what we want to avoid. We're going to retreat because we're going to have one little helicopter come at us, which isn't that big of a deal. Our PKs are going to be able to take care of it really quickly, only taking a little bit more damage. That's the only defending unit we have coming at us, other than that infantry as well. So we're going to get our tanks a little bit more centered up. Okay, well, they made that decision for me by attacking. I'm not going to spend the time to retreat. I'm just going to rush in and attack this guy. Got to take out the wall and him. There we go. <laughs> now, I do have level 10 tanks. So, oh, let's destroy that. I have level 10 tanks and PK IFVs. Because of the changes in how leveling up works, you probably don't have this, which isn't that big of a deal. You may just have to retreat a couple times just so you don't lose. All right, we're taking damage from this guy right here. We got to take him out. There we go. We're finally hitting him. Now we're going to pull out. So you saw how I, des I destroyed that transformer. Ugh, I destroyed the transformer before I went in to destroy the actual turret. So here is what I'm talking about, keeping the tanks in front, because even though these riflemen would only deal a tiny little bit of damage to my PKs, it's more than I want to take. Any damage is too much damage when it comes to your DPS. That's where all your repairs come from. Let's just throw out an, an imaginary number here and say that a fully damaged, or a fully destroyed Rhino costs, you know, let's just say 300 oil to repair, a fully destroyed PK would cost like five or six. 
Those are completely imaginary numbers, but it's just to show the scale. So here's where we're going to rush in. We're going to make sure our tanks are in front to absorb the fire of the machine gun turret. But then we're going to just dive straight inside the range of the howitzer. Once I see that the howitzer isn't targeting me anymore, I'm going to switch to precise target the machine gun turret so it's out of the way. Now, you could use S13s to do this. I'm just, I choose PKs because they can shoot while moving. Shooting while moving is a really, really good thing. Uh, the AI that's used to choose what the vehicle shoots at while it's in motion, I find most of the time is pretty good, unless it's around flak turrets. A lot of times it'll prioritize flak turrets when another vehicle is dealing damage to them. So we're going to come in here, this is where I was saying we're going to dive in and destroy the transformer before anything else. Now these two PKs here are going to come around both sides of these walls to attack us. So we're going to want to be very aware of that. And um, you'll see how I prioritize that attacking them later. Again, the Abram is not going to come after us. So I'm going to got my Rhino select and shortly after do it with my PKs. You want to make sure to select all so that they're moving at the same speed. You don't want your PKs accidentally rushing in front of your rhinos. Okay, well that didn't work out too well. <laughs> We're going to redirect. Send my Abram over here, not Abram, send my rhinos over here so that they attract the attention of that PK that comes in. And there go all the defending troops. Just like that. I mean, you see, I did take pretty much half damage on both my rhinos. So if your rhinos are considerably lower level and without equipment, you may have to retreat. But don't be afraid to do it. You have ten minutes to do this attack. With my platoon, I can do it in like two and a half. No problem. Super easy. But with the, the you don't want to take damage to your DPS. So if you're just trying to get it, you're like, oh, well, I'm sick of this. I just want to push through and beat it. But then your last tank dies. All your PKs get wiped. Your repair costs triple what they should have been. And that was all trying to save, you know, 30 seconds or whatever on an, on an attack. I do not hesitate to retreat, even if there's only one turret left that I have to kill. I'll retreat and come back with a full health platoon to destroy it. It's not worth risking a ton of oil over, you know, 30 seconds. Just come back and attack it. So, let's see how much damage it actually took. I'm going to guess it's between four and 500. I don't know, the damage on my rhinos are a lot. Oh, 563. Whatever. It, it could be gotten below 500. No issues there. Now, I'm not going to do a video on this, but I'm going to go ahead and touch it. Touch on it. I'm going to look at the level 13 base. The same tactics can be used. This base is still in an L shape, and I would still suggest deploying in the same area, at the top of the map, and coming down. So looking at it, you know, it's basically the same design. You just have lower level defending uh, platforms. You still have one helicopter coming at you, and you have some infantry units. So like I said, I would just deploy here, destroy the machine gun turret, come around top, wreck it all the way down, do the same dive technique I did on the last map here, and then come down here and destroy the last machine gun turret. No worries. Pretty much the exact same strategy, except way, way easier. If you're having trouble with the level 20, just grind this one. Anyway, hope you guys found this useful, and if you did, please subscribe. We're trying to hit that 400 mark before the end of the year. And um, look forward to my next video, hopefully going to be up in a little bit, on the level 30 base. And until then, y'all have an awesome day.